Let's now look at another example. From my pictures folders on the laptop, I'm uploading two pictures, one by one, to compare. It found... Now, let's see. It has found a similarity of 99.5% in these two faces, but no similarity with other faces. Let's now look at how recognition helps with facial analysis. I'm going to go to facial analysis and upload another picture from my laptop. As soon as I do that, straight away, get some results. It's 99.9% .9 sure the picture has a face, appears to be female, even the age range. Smiling, 80% really sure, appears to be happy. Let's click on more. Eyes are open, mouth is closed. So a complete analysis of facial attributes, including the confidence score. Now let's look at text in image. It automatically detects and extracts text in your images, as you can see here. Next up, let's look at blockchain. A blockchain is a distributed ledger that is decentralized, distributed, and immutable, enabling automated process workflows. Let's look at an example that demonstrates how this technology works by visiting the voting process. Traditionally, people go to a trusted location to cast their vote. They mark their ballots, which is submitted through a centralized, trusted party. It's a system that's been developed over a long period of time. But what if, instead of mailing a ballot or visiting a voting booth, you vote using a private digital voting token that's linked to your identification when you register to vote? With a distributed ledger, voter registration, verification, collection, and tallying can be automated. And it's trusted by everyone because identities are protected with digital signatures. The ledger is shared across multiple parties, and any changes made must be agreed upon by all. Participants can see the history of the immutable ledger, replacing the traditional previous need for a trusted third party. This is just one example of how blockchain technology can transform the common process. So how can building a blockchain on AWS be beneficial? You can build a superior blockchain solution by using AWS APIs and service integrations. Just like with a database, you can use the wide range of AWS capabilities to perform various functions on a blockchain. For example, Technically savvy voters could incorporate AWS analytics services to gain insights to what is taking place on a blockchain. They could also create live streaming visualizations of how each group is voting across a geographic area. Give your blockchain superpowers AWS. Blockchain technology is well suited for complex workflows that span multiple organizations. Some of you might be familiar with different implementations of blockchain. Possibly one of the most significant or recent implementation of blockchain is Bitcoin or Ethereum. But blockchain can actually be used in a variety of other applications too. And if you're not familiar with blockchain as a concept here, blockchain makes it possible to build applications where multiple parties may need to exchange transactions and maybe there isn't a central authority in that situation. Here we are dealing with the notion of decentralized trust. But today, in order to use blockchain in a variety of different applications, it's actually pretty difficult to get started. Building a scalable blockchain network with existing technologies is complex and hard to manage. There are a couple of things that each of the network members in the blockchain or those who participate in the blockchain needs to do. One is manually provisioning hardware, then installing the software, knowing what is the right version of the software that needs to be implemented, and also keeping those things up to date. Creating and managing certificates for access control to the blockchain, and then configuring network components. None of these are insignificant, especially for something as complex as a blockchain, it cannot be easily implemented. Let's look at some example use cases for blockchain here. Shipping. Blockchain can be used to ensure the entire history and the integrity of that history of a shipped item as it's moving from one country to another and going through that entire shipping system all the way through to delivery. We can ensure the integrity of that item. 
from raw sourcing all the way through to delivery, we can independently audit and verify the entire journey too to make sure that the item that was shipped, where it originated from, the item that we are receiving with a certain degree of confidence. With blockchain, supply chain companies can document production updates to a single shared ledger, which provides complete data visibility and a single source of truth. Another really big use case here is finance and banking, assuring that the transactions are legitimate, having a way to basically be able to agree amongst multiple different parties within a network that those transactions are valid and correct. Let's now see some of the qualities of blockchain that enable those use cases. First, this idea of decentralized trust. We talked about financial institutions or maybe mortgage lenders, basically being able to agree amongst multiple different lenders or parties that a certain transaction that happened truly happened. They are able to agree on a sequence of steps or the origination of a loan and various components like that. All of the participants in the blockchain network here are able to agree on what had happened. And importantly, they have the transparency to be able to do that. Shifting over to the benefits here. In terms of the transparency around those transactions that happen, every member of that network is able to participate and have visibility to what transactions have happened and the data behind those. Immutability in terms of the transaction can't be altered in any way. Once it has happened, it's permanent in nature. Auditability is one of the other benefits that we get here. Being able to audit that certain controls were followed and certain regulations were followed. Permissionless. The idea that we don't necessarily need to have certain central authorities to be able to give permissions within the network here. Everyone is in agreement or not in agreement based on a consensus model. Now, in order to get this decentralized trust and the benefits that we talked about, and in order to realize those, we need to be able to set up the blockchain. It's actually quite complex to be able to set up a blockchain in terms of standing up the right infrastructure, using the right applications and the right code to be able to do that. One solution to this is AWS Blockchain Services. Amazon Managed Blockchain is a fully managed service that makes it easy to create and manage a scalable blockchain network using popular open source frameworks like Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum. This is something that makes it a lot easier for multiple parties that want to set up a blockchain, potentially within an industry or like I said, peers on the network to be able to set up a blockchain to participate in. Let's go through a couple of significant features. Fully managed. The idea behind fully managed in this case is that you don't necessarily need to wait weeks and weeks for the blockchain to be built out according to the specifications. You can create a blockchain network in a matter of minutes. Open source variety. As you have support for two popular frameworks, Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum. Decentralized. So democratically govern the network. Don't have any one member that is more important than another member or can override or change or mutate the state of certain transactions. And lots of other components of this, but also familiar pay-as-you-go cost structure. Only paying for the resources that are being used. And it is integrated, of course, with other AWS services so that you can really take development on that blockchain much further. Here we are again in AWS Management Console and let's search for Amazon Managed Blockchain Service and select it. Let's go to this console and very simple to use, just in four steps. So step one, choose a framework. Step two, invite members. Step three, select nodes. Step four is just deploy your applications. And we also have benefits and features listed here the ones we discussed earlier. 
Let's now look at one of the examples of blockchain being used. Nestle is a global food and beverage company with more than 2,000 brands and distributed across 189 countries worldwide. They wanted to uncover transparency around its coffee bean supply beyond just the brokers and suppliers. They really wanted to have an understanding of the traits of the raw materials and have more visibility into all the source supply. They wanted to track every point in supply chain for this premium coffee. They chose Amazon Managed Blockchain to basically trace back every single step in the supply chain from the farmer to the grader to the roaster and then the packer. You think about all the steps that go along in that typical process of actually growing and sourcing all the way through to when those things are being packed and then eventually sold. This is an excellent use case where you want to understand the supply chain in the case where the largest amount of coffee being procured around the world is traveling. Nestle and their customers can now track the high quality single origin coffee from farmers, logistics, distribution center to the customer. Next up, we have AWS Ground Station. Satellites are used for a wide variety of use cases, including weather forecasting, surface imaging, communications, and video broadcasts. Sending satellites into space is becoming more and more common and accessible. We are getting more data back from the satellites than ever before. Some real-world use cases and examples of where we can use satellite data are weather forecasting and agriculture. Being able to monitor the crop health and maybe use of water across fields and water levels, commercial food producers can use resources efficiently. Another example is global shipping and anti-piracy. Understanding accurate ship positioning around the world and being able to use satellite imagery and telemetry to do that. Earth observation and fire safety. Maybe helping fire commanders understand what is the lowest heat entry point and the most efficient way to do that. Retail forecasting. As simple as it may sound, understanding how many cars are parked in different malls and locations where people shop around the world can help understand how often people are going out to the stores, how much money they are spending within those retail stores. Getting that data back has become much more accessible, but there are still some challenges that remain. Even as it is becoming more and more common, more accessible to send satellites out to space, the infrastructure which is required to be able to collect data back is still challenging for governments, universities and businesses. Today, you must either build your own ground stations and antennas or obtain long-term leases with ground station providers, often in multiple countries, to provide enough opportunities to contact the satellites as they orbit the globe. The actual ground antennas in this case are difficult to maintain and it requires a high capital expenditure to actually scale up to collect that data. Even if you can get more satellites out into space and retrieve more data, there are still these challenges in terms of the actual infrastructure. That's where AWS Ground Station comes in. AWS Ground Station eliminates these problems by delivering a ground station as a service. This enables you to easily control satellite communication. It's a fully managed service that lets you control satellite communication processes that data is coming in from. Scaling your operation without having to worry about building or managing your ground station infrastructure. Those actual antennas that you need to lease or to buy to retrieve the data makes it a lot easier with the ground station service. It's a fully managed service, so you don't have to worry about the infrastructure and scaling components underneath that. It requires no maintenance, no software updates or application downtime. AWS does all the heavy lifting for smooth and secure operations. Pay as you go pricing, pretty incredible. Having the ability to just pay for the resources as you need them. And if you no longer need them in the future, you can release them. You don't have to pay for them any longer. There's no licensing requirements here. You can scale your satellite communications as your business needs. 
self-service scheduling, which it makes it really, really easy for the institutions to be able to schedule the time to be able to take the data into their environments. And then from there, to be able to do the analysis and maybe even machine learning, like we talked about before, based on that data. We get near real-time data delivery, really fast delivery of the data so we can analyze it again very, very quickly. AWS services and features available immediately on premises. It enables single code base, deployment pipelines, and single point of control. Next up, we'll talk about AWS Wavelength. Let's first discuss a couple of drivers for AWS Wavelength. With the advancement of onboard capabilities for many mobile devices, sensors, like I mentioned before with IoT, video cameras, and many other devices are generating large volumes of data, often needing to either compute or process their data very close to the point of data generation. There's a need to essentially have more infrastructure behind the scenes ready to be able to process that data locally much more quickly. There's another driver here in terms of 5G and mobile edge computing. 5G proliferation for the next four years, it's projected that billions of mobile subscribers are going to be on 5G or 5G ready equipment. We have new use cases like cloud gaming, video streaming, IoT, connected vehicles and other applications. And then finally, mobile edge computing. Certain applications like games demand requirements like low latency and local processing on those mobile edge computing devices. These drivers are some of the reasons for need for a product like AWS Wavelength. AWS Wavelength combines the high bandwidth and ultra low latency of 5G networks with the AWS services that we talked about earlier to let developers innovate and build new class of applications using those, again, low latency and high bandwidth from 5G. Essentially, we have scalable capacity within the communication service providers, or CSP, within those data centers that are managed and supported by AWS. AWS compute and storage infrastructure is embedded inside the communication service provider's mobile network. All the processing and storage can happen much more closer to the end user. And again, taking advantage of that low latency for the specific applications. You then have access to services in the AWS regions. You can use a variety of other services as well. You can develop applications and deploy them for use with 5G networks globally. A few example use cases for AWS Wavelength. Healthcare is one industry where Wavelength is really making an impact. Artificial intelligence or machine learning solutions for processing the images that may be taken from multiple different types of equipment in hospitals, maybe for radiology, and being able to do a real-time diagnosis on very large images, or maybe even video analysis that's taken from those machines. Connected vehicles, which we'll see an example of in a moment, or smart factories, industrial automation applications use ML inference at the edge to detect quality issues on fast moving assembly lines and trigger actions to remediate the problem. AWS Wavelength enables these applications to be realized without having to use expensive GPU based servers on the factory floor. The amount of technology enabling vehicular communication systems and the degree to which these technologies are interconnected continues to advance at a rapid pace. LG Electronics is using the next generation CV2X platform on the Verizon 5G network using AWS Wavelength to move data in real time. It uses AWS Wavelength for low latency, high throughput for connected vehicles. You might have autonomous or connected vehicles that need to be able to send large volumes of data, potentially stream it in real time and process that data very, very quickly with low latency and get either decisions or data points back to those vehicles. 
over the 5G network without having to go all the way back to the regions. Excellent use case for something like AWS Wavelength. This concludes the module Innovation with AWS. We hope you found the session helpful with some of the newer innovation areas like IoT, machine learning, blockchain, Wavelength, and ground station. Thank you for attending. We really appreciate your feedback too, so that we can do better and understand the topics and services you would like to know more about as well. So please do take the time to fill out our survey and let us know what you think. And with that, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today at Awesome Day Online Conference. Thank you.